I think this is the last podcast that I will record from Bali because we're flying back this coming Sunday and to be honest I am looking forward to it because I feel a bit overwhelmed here in Bali. There is so much noise around the house, there is a lot of construction going on, there is a lot of traffic, there is loud music everywhere. It just feels like I can't find any peace here and believe me we tried, we really went to different accommodations. Uh, we even went to Lombok. This is the island next to Bali, which um, should be more quiet, but still we couldn't find our peace. So we decided to go back to the Netherlands and we don't have a home yet. So let's see where we will end up. Um, maybe we'll stay longer in the Netherlands if we find something. Um, and maybe, yeah, we go to the south of Europe. So it's all open and we don't know what will happen, uh, but I'm really looking forward to see my family again, especially my two little nephews, because one um, can finally walk and he's so cute. He's one year and three months and the other one is four years. So he went to school for the first time. So I missed all those things and I'm really missing them. So I can't wait to see them. So next week I will see them again and... Um, yeah, I'm just happy to go back and to explore a new, maybe a new home, new area where I want to live. So yeah, that's a, a small update from my side. Um, but this podcast is about something else. It's about the Apifora methods. Because I started this method last May in 2024. So... I was a bit skeptical, to be honest, because you know how it, how it works, right? You try so many things and most of them doesn't work. So um, I really started and I felt really skeptical, but I also thought, okay, I have nothing to lose. So this method came across my path several times and it was frequently mentioned in my inbox on Instagram um, by others. So I thought, okay, there was a day that I wasn't feeling very well. So I thought, you know what? I have nothing to lose. Let's give this a try. So I started in May. I did the sessions online. You mostly need uh, about three different sessions um, to learn the 10 exercises, which is the Epifora method. So more about how it works soon. Let me first tell you how I felt because I started them, the 10 exercises. You do them in the morning and you do them in the, in the evening. And I noticed a difference in the first week. I felt like my head was more clear. I was less tired. So, for example, when I had a conversation with uh, some people, I just noticed that I didn't need to recover uh, that long as I used to. So now I just took a small break of five minutes afterwards uh, with my eyes closed and I was okay. So before this took way longer. So... Right now, I am doing this method for about four months and I feel so much better. And yesterday I had a session with uh, Hans Timmermans and, and he is the, um, the one who discovered and developed this method. So he is um, a psychother uh, physiotherapist and haptonomist and he integrated all the elements of physiotherapy uh, minimal therapy, haptonomy, breath work, um, and transpersonal uh, physical physiology. So um, this is just one simple effective system uh, in in just ten exercises, which you can mostly do laying down. So it's not about a workout; it's about doing some exercises, focusing on your breath, on your some some gentle movements. Um, mostly um, um, about exercise also with the neck and uh, you might know that I sustained a whiplash so for me it was really helpful um, to do the neck exercises uh, which are in this method and um, yeah I felt so much better so I had this call yesterday with Hans and he um, ask me some questions. This is all, always what you do when you have a session. You ask about 15 or 20 different questions about symptoms. And I say from 0 to 10 how I feel. So 
this way we can notice if I made any progress or um, or not. So we did this for the third time and I was just amazed by how yeah how my results were yesterday because I went from most of the symptoms from a 7, which 10 is the worst, 0 is the best, uh, from 7 to maybe a 2 or a 1 or even 0. So... I thought, wow, because normally when you are starting to feel better and when the progress is slowly, um, yeah, when you notice it very slowly, then you get used to the new normal, right? So your new normal, for example, uh, two months ago, I still experienced symptoms because, um, but because I moved forward in the last two months, I... I still notice them, but I wasn't aware of it. So <laughs> everything gets, you get used to everything. So um, this was quite a moment of realization that I really made some progress here. And let me tell you a bit about how it works, because I can imagine you think, hey, but what is this method? What, what do you do? Um, so just to understand uh, how it can help you as well, or if you feel like, hey, this is something that really that I really need right now, um, that you can really feel it, if it's for you or not. So let me explain a bit um, about concussion recovery. So if you don't understand why you aren't recovering, so for example, you already tried many things um, and you feel like something is holding me back, but you don't know what it is. You don't know where to focus on. Uh, this is how I felt, to be honest. I felt more progress was possible, but I felt like a bit stuck in in the how, how to move forward. So under normal circumstances, um, your body is very capable of healing itself, right? But this can be disrupted by a limited blood flow to our brains. So this leads to uh, deregulating effects on our uh, autonomic nervous system. So this is starting to send incorrect signals and this results in symptoms that do not recover. So this is often the main cause why you are not recovering from your concussion. So this is a possible uh, disruption in blood flow. So this AP4 method that assumes that there is a disturbance in the supply and the drainage of blood to the brain. So this can be caused by many factors. So for example, uh, a concussion and a whiplash. For me, I have both. So um, this can really um, can be caused by those factors, but as well as um, other things like hypermobility, incorrect posture, or uh, for example, prolonged stress. But I think you are listening and you have a concussion. So for people who sustain a concussion and a whiplash, those can be the factors that your blood flow is not working properly or not flowing, that there is a disruption in blood flow to the brain. And this Epiphora method will help you to restore the blood circulation to your brain and eliminates um, some waste products. So this restores the balance between the survival and recovery systems. So this really helps you, uh, helps your body to regain the healing power, which really, which you really need for people who are dealing, for example, with post-concussion, but also with post-COVID syndrome, um, with people with aura migraine or sleep problems or ME or some chronic pain. So I'm going to go to ask you a question. It's really about some symptoms. And if you feel like, hey, I have one or more of the symptoms that I'm going to mention, um, then this really uh, is a method that might help you as well. So the first, it's eight symptoms that I'm going to, man man that I'm going to mention. So the first one, uh, sensitivity to light and or sounds. I think that's one that most people have with a concussion. The second one, blurred vision. The third one, headache and skull pain. The fourth one, brain fog. The fifth one, pressing feeling on the head. The sixth one, irritable bowels. The seventh, cold body. And the eight, some sore muscles. So if you feel like, okay, I have 
one or more of those symptoms. And I think people with a concussion or whiplash, they have more of them. For me, it was uh, the sensitivity to light and sound. I had the blurred vision. I had uh, the headaches. I had the brain fog. I was always feeling cold. I had those uh, irritable bowel. I had also the pressing feeling on my head. Or you can also describe it as um, an elastic band around your head. I had them all. So uh, when I read this or when I heard about it. And when I uh, heard about what this method does. I felt like, okay, this might be something that I'm willing to give it a try. So uh, I'm really glad that I did. So as I already said, this Epiforum method, um, that this is a series of posture and some different movement exercises and also some breathing techniques. So combining all of them really helps to regulate blood flow to and from the brain. So this, uh, this is basically what we do with this Epiforum method. And once you do this, you will notice that it's uh, much easier or your symptoms will, will really reduce. It's much easier to, um, to recover after you've done something. Um, for example, what I also noticed, um, by the way, was uh, exercising. Some, I always exercise, of course. I did the interval training as well. But I notice right now that it's uh, much easier for me to recover. I don't feel uh, any dizziness. I uh, don't feel um, the tiredness that I sometimes had after exercise. So this is something that I noticed. And also here in Bali, it's, it's sometimes very hot. So when I go to the beach or something, I always had this problem that I um, that the heat was too much for me that I couldn't manage it or something but after this uh, this is something that I, I noticed after doing this uh, before I met it for about three months I noticed that I can handle the heat more easily um, so that's something that uh, that improved as well for me so um, yeah so you do those exercises uh, twice a day so this means 15 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes uh, during or before bedtime and uh, during the day throughout the day you maintain a good posture so you make sure you don't uh, sit forward so for example for example if you're watching a screen it's easy easy to move forward and hanging with your neck right so that's something that you need to avoid because once you do that you are uh, disrupting this blood flow to the brain. So you really need to make sure that once you start with this epiphora method that you that your posture is okay while you sit, while you walk, um, things like this. And the exercises are primarily done while laying down. And just know that it's not a quick fix. It's not about doing the exercise just once and hey, there I am again. <laughs> but it's about doing them consistency. And for me, it took... Of course, in the first week, I noticed some differences, but um, what I noticed the most improvements is what I, uh, I noticed was about, um, I think, three to four months, so where I am right now. And Hans told me yesterday, he assured that he was sure that, he, that I would make more progress in the next few months. So it's very motivating if you feel like, hey, I'm moving forward. It's something that you could do at home. That's really something that I love, that you don't have to go to a new doctor again. Because sometimes this gives some stress, right? Running from another doctor to another doctor, um, be there on time. Also, when you don't feel well, you have to go there. And yeah, you know, if, if this wasn't something that I couldn't do from my own home, I think I wouldn't have started this at, at all. So uh, it's also a great thing for people who... Um, who feel overwhelmed quite easily um, or are, are very tired or just don't have the energy to go to appointments. So it's really a great tool to work on your healing uh, from home. So yeah, and um, that's basically what this method does. So I just, um, I just want to mention one more thing um, because our brain is supplied with two yeah, two arteries and two, um, or how do you say this, two, um, well, there are two different parts of your brain at the end of the neck, at uh, the back of the neck, and um, this whole circle, If I don't know if you ever heard of it, it's called the circle of Willis, and this is the connection between the front, the middle, 
and the back parts of our brain. So even if there is an uh, obstruction through the neck, the circle of Willis can still supply the entire brain with some oxygen-rich blood. But however, um, it appears that the circle of Willis shows abnormalities is more than two thirds of the people. So especially if you sustain a concussion, this can lead to a lack of blood flow and um, then you will get symptoms from it. So it really triggers a reaction in the brain that puts the entire body into a stress state. So that's what I noticed too. I feel so much more balanced and calm and I feel that I have less anxiety because this disruption that was there or you really... Um, you really remain or you, you really work on, on making this this part in your neck a little bit bigger so the blood can, throw, can flow better to your brain. And I'm sorry if I don't explain it well. I try to do my best. But if you are curious about this and if you feel like, hey, I want to read more about this because it sounds like, hey, this is something that I need. I just created... Um, uh, on my website uh, a part about this because I really think more people need to know about this because right now in the Netherlands it's already a thing it's really known in the Netherlands and already used by hundreds of thousands of people with positive results and right now there is a moment that it's making its way to the international market so I really feel like I need to focus on this too because it's such a an important thing or missing link that can really help many concussion survivors. So I already created a page on my website to, um, yeah, just to inform people about this, that they know about it, that they can maybe start working on this. And I'm also thinking about getting my um, my um, my license or, or my certification uh, so that I can teach this methods to others so then i will um, get this certification from uh, the institute that hans timmerman the one who developed this method he created this institute and he is teaching people um, how to apply this method to other people so then you get your certification um, i need to do my medical basic knowledge of course uh, so i'm thinking about doing this but i first want to make sure if people feel like hey this is something that I need. I want to give this a try um, because I really believe it, it, it can change so many things for people with a concussion. We are now reaching out to, or they are reaching out to people in America too, or to some institutes as well. Um, so it's starting to make its way out of the Netherlands. And I feel like I want to be a part of it. Um, but I want to make sure if you feel the same way, because I can be very happy and enthusiastic about this, but... If you feel like, oh no, this is not something that I need or um, I just want to make sure. So if you feel like, okay, yes, I want to read more about this or I want you to teach me those methods, um, please leave your email. I created this waitlist on my website as well on the same page. So you can get any, um, you will receive all the updates about um, this method about uh, if I get my certificate so I can teach you this as well because at the moment there are only people well teaching this in the Netherlands so far so maybe some of them they speak English but not all of them I think I'm not sure to be honest I need to um, do some research about that but yeah if you are interested please leave your email so I know that people are interested in this um, so I know that I um so, so I have your email so I can send any updates about this message to your email. Uh, and also if I start getting over, if I get my certification that I can let you know when I have it so I can start teaching you this method as well. You'll find the link here in the show notes. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. Uh, I hope you're that excited as I am because um, yeah, I think this is a really big thing and a new thing that can help so many people. All right. Okay. This is it for today. <laughs> I hope it helped you so far. And um, yeah, please leave your email uh, if you feel like this is something for you, if you're interested, if you want to get any updates. Have a nice day and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to my podcast. I really hope this was helpful for you. 
If it was, and if you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or YouTube, would you maybe do one small thing in return? Leave a short review or thumbs up on YouTube? The more views this podcast will get, the easier it is for other people to find this podcast and to feel less alone and lost in their journey. Oh, and one last thing. I would love it if you share a helpful episode on Instagram, in a post or in a story and tag the concussion community in it. Or you can always send me a direct message. I love to see who is listening. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time.